Hello, John Talley here with Boats.net. Today we're going to be removing the lower unit on our Mercury 200 Verado. We're going to be doing several things to it, but the first thing is actually to get it off the power head and mount it over to our stand. So let me go grab a couple of tools. We'll get this thing removed and get it tightened down. So let's go. So I've got my tools laid out. Let me give you an overview of what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and remove the upper cowling, the side chaps, and then we're actually going to drain the oil out of the engine. If we don't, more than a quart is going to end up on the floor when we remove the lower gear case. We get the oil drained and then we'll start removing the different bolts that will allow us to drop this down. So let's start off by getting off the cowling and then work our way down. You have the three up front, one here, and then you've got two on either side under this rear cover, which I had actually removed previously. The good part about this is that all of these eight millimeter head bolts are the same length, so make it easy when we go to put it back together. Let's see if they'll release now. There we go. It's gonna crack our fill plug open. It'll make it easier for it to drain. And yes, I know it looks awful. <clears throat> we know this engine's in trouble, but we will get to that. Yeah, if your oil looks like this, <laughs> you've got a problem, big time. The engine oil is drained. We've removed the lower shrouds, and that's gonna give us access to a bolt through here and then there'll be one once we release that anode going back up and then you've got the ones around front. We're going to go ahead and remove all of them except this one all the way. And When we get ready to do it, at that point we'll be prepared to actually take the weight of the lower unit and then put it over in the stand. So let's get going. It's in there but uh, <laughs> I don't think it was accomplishing very much. So we'll, we'll fish that one out later. Yes, that was only being held in by some uh, corrosion. The bolt was just laying on its side as I showed you earlier with my phone. So that top one had already been removed and now with that anode out of the way, we can get to this lower bolt, which is a 19 millimeter. And then the other four that we're gonna get around under the edge are 19 millimeters as well. As I said before, we're gonna go ahead and remove the first three, loosen this one up a little bit, but don't remove it yet, because once we do that, she will release, hopefully. And I need to be ready to catch it and take it over to the stand. We're ready to lower it down. When I bring it down, it's just gonna drop a few inches. Then I need to reach in and release the speedometer tube. Once I do that, we can carry it over to the stand. There we go. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. And if you'd like to see what I'm going to be doing to this one next, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified because we're going to do several projects to this. We're going to do the, the input seals, the output seals, the water pump, and et cetera. We're also going to check the gearing to make sure it's all right. Well, listen, if you need any parts for your boat, why don't you come see us at boats.net and we can get you taken care of. Have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Boats.net and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.